Hello everyone, in today's topic, we are going to talk about net of 3D or net of three-dimensional figures. So the first thing we need to do is to fill in the facts about the 3D alien shape. Click one at a time to show the answers. So the shape name is a square pyramid and the number of faces is five. The face shapes are one square and four triangles. And the number of edges, we have eight. And the number of vertices, we have five. Curved surface or flat faces are both. It is only flat faces because we only have triangles and square. So look at this net for a three-dimensional shape. Can you identify the 3D shape? it will make so use these questions to help you see how many faces does it have so we have one two three four five so we have five and then what shape are the faces we have two triangles and three rectangles so this is a triangular prism two triangles and three rectangles we can make three-dimensional shapes from blue tuck and straws as well as nets. So look at this cube made with clay and straws. How many straws would you need to make this model? We have 12. And how many pieces of modeling clay are needed? Correct. There are eight. Sticks and blue tuck models help you see the edges and vertices of a three-dimensional shape. So the number of strokes tells us how many edges we have and the number of modeling clay or the pieces of modeling clay tells us how many vertices does it have. We can also draw our own 3D shape nets too. I want to draw a net for a square pyramid. How could I fill in the other pieces I would need? So from the square base, all we need to do here is to think about how many faces you need in total, their shapes, and which other faces they share an edge with. So we have four triangles. Net models help you see the faces and surfaces of a three-dimensional shape. So 3D shapes with triangular faces are always pyramids. What do you think? Is he right? It's a big no. Why? Because we can get triangular prisms and lots of irregular 3D shapes with triangular faces too. A net is a diagram of the surfaces of a three-dimensional figure that can be folded to form a three-dimensional figure. To identify a three-dimensional figure from a net, look at the number of faces and the shape of each face. So let us identify the three-dimensional figure from a net. So from here, we have 60 squares. So what do you think? Correct. It is a cube. The net has six congruent square faces, so the net forms a cube. Then, how about this one? Correct. It is a cone. The net has one circular face and one semicircular face. These are the base and sloping face of a cone. So the net forms a cone. The net has two circular faces and one rectangular face. These are the bases and a curved surface of a cylinder. So the net forms a cylinder. A net is 2D pattern or two-dimensional pattern that can be used to create a three-dimensional shape. So from a cube, this is the net of a cube. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six squares that forms a cube. 
So which diagram is the net for this right square prism? So as you can see here, we have two squares and then one, two, three, four, four rectangles. Correct. It is net B because we have one, two, three, four rectangles and we have two squares. So the answer is net B. So for our mental math, we are going to match the 3D shapes to the appropriate net on the right hand side. So in here, it is a cylinder. So the net is this one. It is a cube. The net is this one. And this is a triangular prism. So the net is this one. And this is a cone. So the net is this uh, one circle and one semicircle. And then we have a triangular pyramid. So the net is this one. And we have a rectangular prism or cuboid. So the net is this one. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye.